so i was uh, telling lao view ra view all those things uh, may appear uh, difficult for you so what is this uh, lao and ra so you imagine the patient is sitting here and uh, this is the patient uh, and the tube if it is straight over the patient it is called uh, ap and if the x ray tube is little tilted to left side it is called lao so this angle uh, common angle we use 40 degree and if it is tilted towards the patient right side it is called rao so right anterior oblique and uh, left anterior oblique so these are the angulations and uh, other thing is if the tube is oriented towards the patient head that is called cranial view and if it is tilted more towards the patient's foot it is called caudal view so we have a cranial if the uh, tube is tilted more uh, towards the head and the caudal if the tube x-ray tube is tilted more towards the patient foot and the lao if the tube is little if the operator is rear if the tube is little towards the operator then it is rao if it is away from the operator it is lao you can uh, tell like that also so this gives a rough idea about uh, what are the views and how do we take the views in the cath lab so Uh, the standard angiography views so sometimes uh, may, may be very difficult to initially if you want to appreciate uh, so which is the lad or which which view was taken so some clues for that depends upon uh, the landmarks anatomic landmarks in the angiogram so the catheter in descending aorta the spine and diaphragm will give you roughly what it is what view they have taken and if the diaphragm is seen in the image most likely it is cranial and it is not caudal so mostly in cranial if you have a cranial or ap cranial you can appreciate the diaphragm if it is not seen mostly it is caudal and if it is uh, how to differentiate rao and lao they depending upon the position of the spine and catheter so if the spine and the catheter is to the right side of the image then it is lao and if the spine and catheter is to the left side probably it is rao and if it is at the center then it is pav so you identify the whether it is cranial and uh, caudal based on this anatomic landmarks like uh, catheter spine and diaphragm so we'll see which view is uh, best for which segment of the coronary artery so if you want to visualize the left main coronary artery then a plain ap view will be better or lao caudal and lao cranial so these are the three important views for visualizing the left main and then coming to proximal lad if you want to visualize the proximal lad then rav caudal view and lav caudal view these are the two important views sometimes lav cranial also we can see the proximal lad and mid lad it is always cranial view so mid lad is visualized better in lav cranial and rav cranial and lateral so a lateral means the angle lav angle is at 90 degree and uh, distal lad is uh, best visualized uh, in rav cranial view and rav caudal view and lateral view and we'll see the importance of lateral view in subsequent slides and diagonals are better visualized in lav cranial and rav cranial so if you want uh, depending upon which segment uh, is uh, important or which you are uh, want to view you can change the you can uh, take the appropriate views depending upon the area of interest